to do it for the Gram and Enneagram podcast, YouTube's channel, where we do it for the Enneagram, not Instagram. We make moves to improve our lives and those in our community. So on this episode, I want to do some Enneagram book recommendations. I have some different ideas and I have a plethora of books and there are quite a few books being written right now by different Enneagram coaches, um, different Enneagram teachers, and it's just a lot going on. But here are some of the best books and some of them that I have read that um, really helped me and I want to continue to do episodes as I grow and read more books um, about those who really have some really solid knowledge um, and deep work. So number one. If I'm talking about beginners, the beginning book I would choose for a beginner is The Road Back to You by Ian Morgan Crun and Susan Stabile. This book right here and the audiobook are really good for explaining the Enneagram in a very, very, very foundational, basic way that gets to the crux of you, of who you are. I think they do an absolutely amazing job. I listened to the audiobook. Um, when I first when I first got this and I was excited um, about it it's about an hour for each type which I think makes sense and uh, they do just a really really good job of explaining the Enneagram from a very very basic view so that you can learn and grow on your type the next book I recommend which I would recommend this book for um, it's kind of a blend of psychology and spirituality a little bit. Um, but I would recommend this book because this is the book that got me onto the Enneagram. And that is The Wisdom of the Enneagram by Russ Hudson and Don Rizzo. So this book right here, big old, big old, big old, big blue book here, has tons of information on the Enneagram. It was written a little while ago, so some of the stuff is a little dated, but it is still an amazing and a great book and resource for the Enneagram. Tons of resources in here if you want to get kind of the scope of the Enneagram in totality with yourself. And just writes a lot of good things and challenging things for you and your specific type. <clears throat> the next book, if you are looking at typing, um, and you're more of a visual person and you want to engage more with the Enneagram in a way that um, you look at it from not just um, a psychological view, but you want to get a little bit deeper, a little bit more specific, but still have graphics to understand it. The best book for that is The Art of Typing by Ginger Lepi Bagda, um, who is my Enneagram teacher, and I'm super excited about that. I'm glad and thankful. But this book right here has literally pictures in it. It helps you to say, if you are looking at, say maybe you're, you think you're a two, but you could be a six, or you're a six and think you're a two, which is a common mistyping, um, you can look through this book, and there's questions in here that will actually help you to figure out which type you are between those. And they do it between every single type, which is awesome. And then they also have a page that shows people and the differences of different types and what they would do in different situations, which is great. It also goes over like the physical aspects, physical features, um, the somatic things that people do differently between each type. Like me, I talk with my hands, I smile, I'm energetic. That is generally what type sevens do. Um, naturally just a part of the type structure but every type has their own way of doing different things and you can see it without even talking to a person a lot of times these behaviors manifest themselves in the way that people live their lives so this is a really good book definitely a book recommendation for me another book I would recommend when we get into a little bit more um, when we get into deeper and especially if you're looking to understand the subtypes and this is a this is a much deeper book and I'm going to take out my notes real quick because I have notes in here and that's going to look a little sloppy on this video so I'm going to take those out um, but it is The Complete Enneagram by Beatrice Chestnut okay this book hits the subtypes like no book I've seen hit the subtypes yet and if you don't know what subtypes are yet you may not be ready for this book but if you're on the cusp of learning what the subtypes are and you're trying to figure out the passion and the instincts and your subtype specifically this is going to be huge so somewhere near your journey maybe not right now you definitely need to get this book it's called The Complete Enneagram and it crushes talking about the subtypes in, spe in specificity which I love because it's tighter and it's closer to your patterns than just your type structure alone. The next book as we get more and more advanced 
um, in thinking about the Enneagram. The book that I want to show is The Sacred Enneagram by Chris Hewards. This book right here definitely has some much deeper, richer uh, connections to um, kind of the spiritual realm and the Enneagram, but still, it's still more of a connecting to um, the greater information, the greater knowledge, and different things that have been out in the past. He does a wonderful job of connecting the Enneagram to like things that have happened in life, like real life situations and stories and different things that have happened there's a huge connection that sometimes we don't see even looking at the numbers and how they are aligned and especially when you do like division or multiplication of different numbers we come out with an order that looks like the enneagram does a wonderful job in this book the sacred enneagram um, and so this is definitely another book that i would recommend but not if you are a beginning the enneagram you will get lost in this book if you are just beginning Enneagram you're trying to read and get through it. So this is more for intermediate to advanced, I would say, and you're learning your Enneagram knowledge. The last but not least book at all, which I think is, I absolutely love this book. It is one of the most advanced books. I would definitely say bone up on your knowledge of the books beforehand before you get to this one. But this is Nine Lenses of the World by Jerry Wagner. It says Jerome Wagner on here, but we call him Jerry Wagner. And I am, and most of these people are doctors, by the way, so I didn't say doctor, and most of them are okay with it, but I'm just saying. I would definitely recommend this super thick book right here. It is the psychological approach uh, from of the Enneagram, and it is very dense, very deep, but extremely insightful when it comes to each type and diving into some different ways of seeing each type. And so he does a wonderful job of connecting the psychological and the spiritual on top of the psychological to each type, which I think is absolutely amazing and wonderful. So these books will be in the notes below this video because I think these are definitely books you want to go and you want to go out and get and buy and learn from if you have not seen those. There are a lot of good Enneagram books, but those are my first recommendations for the Enneagram if you are looking into the Enneagram. Some of the best ones I've had, I've done a ton of growth because of these books and these teachers alone. And so I'm super glad about those. So that's all I have for this episode. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the little bell so you get the notifications anytime an episode or um, YouTube video pops up. And don't forget, do it for the gram. The Enneagram, of course. And I'll see you on the next episode. Bye.